Hey guys, Lucas here, and in this video, I'm going to give you some strategies to stop worrying about consuming red meat. So much of the controversy around red meat consumption is based upon the fact, well, the potential likelihood that it may raise what's known as TMAO. Now, what I wanted to do was actually give you some strategies to basically, let's assume that red meat does in fact raise TMAO production, which is a negative, or well, it's a harmful um, chemical that is produced in the body and can potentially contribute to um, cardiovascular disease. So let's assume that is true. Now, what can you do about that? So there are things you can do about that. That's why like, if you take a very holistic approach, you'll realize that there are certain foods that actually lower TMAO production. So here are some examples. So you have balsamic vinegar. Now balsamic vinegar contains a, um, a chemical constituent that has been shown to lower TMAO production in in vivo models, which is quite uh, promising. The same goes for pistachios. Now pistachios have been shown to lower TMAO. That's another useful um, strategy. Number three is red wine. Now, um, I don't advise drinking red wine on a continuous basis. Obviously, regular consumption of red wine um, or any alcohol for that matter is actually not going to contribute to um, optimal health, but there is a component found in red wine known as resveratrol, which I'm sure many of you will be familiar with, which has been shown to lower TMAO yet again. And number four is actually seafood. Now, the DHA component of seafood and potentially the EPA um, component as well has also been shown to lower TMAO. So I wanted to give you guys some strategies if you are fearing red meat based upon the potential that it may raise TMAO. Well, here are some strategies that you can incorporate to stop worrying and stop being so fearful of uh, red meat. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, definitely share it around um, and check out the link in my bio for more really useful health hacks.